In the previous video, we saw the basic transformation concepts in Blender, and now we are going to continue exploring the editing mode to control our geometry. Remember that if you are enjoying this series and want to go deeper, I invite you to take a look at my complete Blender course for beginners. You have the link in the video description. And now, let's go to the next level. Blender has different modes of interaction with objects. So far, we have only seen the object mode, and the modes can be found here in this tab. We have the object mode, edit mode, sculpt mode, vertex paint, weight paint, and texture paint mode. The one we are going to explore now is the edit mode, so let's select it. And the first thing we can see is that our cube is now colored orange. That means that everything is selected. If we press the A key, we are going to deselect everything. So here, with click, I can select some vertices. And up here, we can choose whether we want to select vertices, edges, or faces. Here, we are going to select the edges, and here we are going to select the faces. We can also have more than one mode selected. By pressing Shift, I can activate two modes at the same time. And here, I can select a vertex and also edges separately, depending on what we need. In edit mode, we can use the same selection modes that we had in object mode. We can do box selection. We can take out the brush to select where we pass. Or the lasso selection. And as you can see, we can only select the parts that are in front. The polygons in the back, we can't select them. To select the ones in the back, we have to enter wireframe mode with the Z key. So, if I make a selection here, both the front and the back are selected. We can also use the same transformation tools that we have in object mode. We can move, we can scale, and we can rotate. And in both object mode and edit mode, the pivot point works. So if here, for example, I put the 3D cursor and I rotate it, that's going to be the axis of the rotation. Or the scale. And here in edit mode, we also have a new tool, which is proportional editing. That's up here. It is activated with the O key. And what it does is that if we make a transformation, for example, if we move here, it will alter the geometry that is uh, contiguous to that polygon. I'm going to put it back here in midpoint so that we can see it more clearly. And we get this circle that indicates the area of influence of proportional editing. We can make it bigger or smaller using the mouse wheel. I can do the transformation, and we also have different options for the fall off, which is the shape of the influence. There, it defaults to smooth, which is quite balanced. But we have other options, for example, sharp, that deforms the polygons in a much more concentrated and sharper way. We have sphere, which makes it a little more drastic and round. Among other options, we can also take into account that we can mix the influence of proportional editing with the pivot point. So if I put the pivot point of the 3D cursor, and I take a polygon with proportional editing, it will have the influence of both tools and we can achieve things like this that we can see here. And in this way, we can achieve some pretty specific results. So my suggestion is to explore and play a little bit with proportional editing and with the pivot point. And with what we've seen then, the only important shortcut that we have is the tab key. With the tab key, we can enter and exit the editing mode. And in the next video, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the edit mode, exploring some of its tools.